A once crown jewel of shopping and dining is hoping to reclaim its title. There was a lot of fanfare when the new owner of the Lafayette Square Mall rolled out his vision to turn the mall site into a tourism destination. WRTV's Rafael Sanchez is following up tonight on the plans, the progress and the people. Lafayette Square Mall was a major destination during its heyday and our new owner is promising to make some big changes. Christopher Mitchell quit his job to start a business. It's uplifting, you know, it, it feels good. He opened just like Sunday in the Lafayette Square Mall food court. I've been told a lot of things here that with the last owners that they could do for me and nothing never happened. This is set to be a year of a major turnaround for the mall. Fabio de la Cruz is behind it. My goal is to make the mall a landmark of Indianapolis. They need people. The businessman who began as a dishwasher, busboy at Don Pablo's on 96th Street, over time earned his real estate license. He'd eventually buy multiple homes and commercial properties around Lafayette Square Mall. And now he owns that as well. Were you out of your mind <laughs> when, well, you yes, said, am, yeah. when you said, I'm going to buy a mall uh -huh. that historically is not doing well yes. in this neighborhood? I yes. mean, did people say to you, muchacho, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yes, yes, they do. We can rent the smaller spaces. These spaces can be rent and they're gonna be successful. The biggest challenge that the malls have right now are the big stores. The big boxes. The big boxes. They're those gone. Are, those are gone. Those are gone. Are they coming back ever? I don't think so. Uh, you don't think I don't, they're think, back I don't think that they're gonna come back. He believes people will return to the mall as the makeover will tap into the area's existing diversity by bringing in authentic restaurants, music, and art. The window to the world to me is no international. It's, it's deeper than that. It's a window to your soul, to something different, to an experience. The project will also include a sports park, a hotel, and apartments. The work is at the mercy of a tight labor market and supply chain issues impacting the delivery of building materials. 100% completed. Outside, inside, what I just, that vision that I just mentioned is gonna be open. So by, by next December. Assuming. By next December, it should be open. If you come to the, to the mall uh, three years from now and you leave and you didn't feel anything, I fail. Christopher is watching, waiting, and willing to give this proposed comeback a chance. I'm ready for new growth, a new look. You have to look good to be good. So bring it. I'm ready. <laughs> Working for you in Indianapolis, Rafael Sanchez, WRTV. Looking forward to the comeback. Thank you, Rafael. Renovations inside the mall will begin as soon as the roof is repaired. And here's a sign of progress near the shopping center. The mall's owner made possible the land and new building, which now houses the IMPD Northwest District headquarters. Officers moved in several days ago. The city is leasing the building from the mall's owner.